Another test that is important in assessing a woman's hair loss is what level, what assessment is she in the fact of fallout? Is she normal fallout? Is she in the hair loss fallout? Or is she is an extreme case of fallout? The very test is called the hair pull. And the hair pull is this, that you draw on the hair, not hard, but with a tautness, and bring it through the ends. And if there's hairs on the ends, you'll be looking to count how many times of the five pulls that you'll test have hair remaining in your hand. I'll go to the side, I'll draw it out. Again, not aggressively, but allowing the hair to come by itself. I come to the top crown area, I draw it out. I look for any hairs that are remaining in my hand. I do the opposite side. And again, the front. Now, if she falls one or two hairs, she's in normal hair loss. If you go three, four, you're in a true hair loss aggression. And if you're at five times, every one of the times that you pulled, you're at a level that you should be seeing a dermatologist or your doctor to find out whether there's a thyroid problem affecting you, a medication problem, something more extensive. Then come back to the professional and have them resolve your, your hair loss solution with a hair replacement, extensions, or whatever it might be that you need that your solution is best suited for. But in turn, the hair pull is really important. The last and really important to her is the shape of her face. By taking a knowledge of the shape of her face, that you're gonna build a hair system that will take her shape and build the most attractive frame with more hair is really what the hairdresser is meant to do. So by giving her hair back through hair integration, extensions that are safe for thin hair, or whatever type of appliance that we create as a solution, by knowing how to finish the look that suits her, makes her look absolutely beautiful again.